Alright world, we see how it is. The Los Angeles Lakers blow out the Miami Heat in Game 1 of the NBA Finals. I know a lot of fans were pretty much half and half if it's going to be the Heat winning the series in around 6 games or the Lakers winning the series in 5 games or kind of in that mix. So I've seen both stories before the Finals set off. Now, starting the beginning of Game 1, the Miami Heat were hot offensively and defensively, pretty much making their way um, in the paint. And then second of all, you did have a 2-3 zone based on Eric Spolstra and the crew. And every time LeBron James would try to drive in or Anthony Davis, they would quickly double team each other party. Now, you got to give credit to KCP. So whenever LeBron James was double teamed, he would kick it out to an open KCP and he hit around two to three threes in the first quarter, which really got the Los Angeles Lakers rolling because AD and LeBron couldn't really score offensively in the beginning. But pretty much after LeBron James went back to the bench early in the first quarter and they Frank Vogel brought in Frank uh, Alex Caruso and Kyle Kuzma, the Lakers caught a groove. And when LeBron James came back in the end of the first quarter, the Los Angeles Lakers pretty much never looked back. And they went on a round of 70 to a 30 point run against the Miami Heat. And the Lakers were up 30 points at one time and then pretty much just blew them out. And the rest is history. So now game one's over with. I kind of want to add in a little more context of game one. We did see three multiple injuries for the Miami Heat. Now, number one, we did have Jimmy Butler. He rolled his ankle um, and in the beginning of the game. He rolled his ankle and he got back to the free throw line. Um, he pretty much continued to play. Then Eric Spolster brought him back into the fourth quarter and later in the game, and Jimmy Butler was hobbling out there. But he is returning and he will play in game two, but we don't know if it's drastic or if it's just a little something. But if you ever roll in an ankle, um, mentally, you're not there. Now, for the second injury, you did have Bam Adebayo. Um, he is listed as doubtful to play for game two against the Lakers due to a strained neck, and as well as he did hurt his injured shoulder when he went inside to Anthony Davis. The French fell, and you could see the aggravation when it came to him. So we're unsure if he's out for the remainder of the series or just for game two, but pretty much Bam Adebayo is their starting center. He is undersized at 6'9", which was a huge problem for the Miami Heat against Dwight Howard in AD. And if that's the case, we're going to see more minutes for Myers, Leonard, and Kelly Olynyk as we see it. And then the final injury for the Heat was Goran Dragic. He's listed as doubtful for game two. Pretty much we've stated that he may probably going to be out for the whole series. So those are three huge injuries. But Jimmy Butler will continue to play as it comes down to it. So Kendrick Nunn's going to have to make the start, most likely, if Dragic will not be playing. And then for center, they may have to bring in Myers Leonard at center or Kelly Olenek, um, which is not ideal at all for the Miami Heat. So pretty much you're at a disadvantage. You got blown out. You had injuries. And mentally, this, this gets to you if you're the Miami Heat because you have a bunch of young cats. The first time you're being in the finals and you're losing these type of games and getting blown out game one um they pretty much are intimidated by ad and lebron james now um, they already were when they first got into there but this pretty much seals the deal so we're probably gonna see a couple more blowouts when it comes to it um back on the lakers side huge credit to the dynamic duo of lebron james and ad ad did score 34 points lebron james did have 25 points 13 rebounds and 9 assists, one shy away from a triple-double. And, of course, LeBron James takes everything overall. The whole foundation of, you know, passing, scoring, initiating the offense, and impact. And Anthony Davis took on, of course, the defensive side with three blocks. And offensively, 34 points. He takes the offensive side as well. And that's what LeBron James kicks it out to Anthony Davis for. Uh, he knows he can score, and pretty much the Heat have a terrible matchup against... Anthony Davis but for LeBron James they'll throw Andre Godala, Jay Crowder and double teams at him so LeBron is using matchups to his advantage when it comes down to it uh, overall for game one's blowout everyone was pretty much now saying that the Lakers are going to sweep or if anything a gentleman sweep um, question is the series over now I'm not going to jump the gun and be in the moment I give respect to the Miami Heat they were able to pretty much sweep or gentlemen sweep the Milwaukee Bucks, take down the Pacers in a sweep, and take down the Boston Celtics. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll give them the respect. They are a 
you know, they're they're a rusty team. They go out there, um, they're dogs. And so I expect the defense to pretty much kick it up. And with Pat Riley and Spolstra, they're not gonna go out like this. They're champions. They have pride and let alone, they're gonna have a strategic strategy. So you gotta give them the credit. I think Duncan Robinson, who only had 27 minutes, zero points, he'll hit a couple more shots. Tyler Hero, this is gonna lead more minutes and opportunity for him on the defensive side since Goran Dragic is out. You could see possibly Tyler Hero start in, in replacement of him, but don't knock out the Miami Heat just like this. I think this series at most will go five games. Um, I've always stated the Lakers would win in six, but with these injuries, Bam out of bio, it's too much um, for matchups as it was even worse as it was, but I'll give the Heat benefit of the doubt. I'll, I think there could probably be one or two close games still in this series. But that kind of depends on game two and injuries that are foretold within here. But kudos to the Los Angeles Lakers. They're in a great position. LeBron has his rest since of COVID and of the bubble. And I think the Lakers right now, they've always had great chemistry with throughout the season. They've always been a unit together. And they're all looking for that championship for Kobe and the championship for Bron Bron. So I say still, Lakers gonna, going to win the series in five. Um, could be a sweep. It could happen. That would be great for LeBron's legacy. Um, but overall, Lakers, they're good.